Well, hey there guys and girls, and welcome back to Rapid Plays, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, here on Nostalgia Gaming Retro, where we are still in midst of our celebrations for Zelda Month 2021. It is also the 35th anniversary of the franchise. Yeah, we are loving it here. We are loving it here. And uh, yeah, we're, we're back around now. We've had a great first week, but we're back round at Minish Cap. And we're about to enter the first dungeon. I'm going to do it right now because we wasted a lot of time between the last episode and now getting to it. So here we are at the Deepwood Shrine. The first of, I think, six dungeons, I want to say. I could be wrong on that. I don't really know. But yeah, we're here anyway. We might as well get on with things. Uh, I believe we're looking for the four elements. And I think we might have one here, if we're lucky. Apparently I didn't go far enough ahead. Okay. Ah, right. Classic Zelda trope. Uh, when you're in a dungeon, you've got nothing but puzzles to go for. Um, and yeah, puzzles are a plenty in this game. Which is always a good thing. Okay, this is unfair. This, this is a little unfair. Thank you. Yeah, quite a simple, oh, quite a simple puzzle, but uh, yeah, it holds the key. It holds the key, as you may have imagined. Uh, yeah, so if you've never played a Zelda game before, I would definitely recommend giving this one a shot. You don't have to have any prior knowledge of any Zelda game at all to enjoy this one. As I said in the last video, it doesn't really focus on the Triforce or the main three being Link, Zelda and Ganon. Well, Link and Zelda obviously are in this story, but you know. Think of it as like a separate kind of spin-off uh, title. Well, it's not really a spin-off. It is actually a main title. Oh, poor Link was getting red in the face there. Barely, barely able to breathe. Um, oh, oh, we got to move. Yeah, it's not safe here. Um, yeah, great game. Um, definitely give it a give it a go. Yeah. So, I love this uh, dungeon. I I do. I actually do love this dungeon. It's um, it's fun. You'll see um, why later. Not so much just now. It's quite a simple dungeon. Obviously, it's the first one, but the item that you get in this dungeon as well is you're going to be using that a hell of a lot in this game. Um, yeah, hold on. I got this. I got this. There we go. That was simple. I like a simple puzzle. But yeah, definitely recommend Minish Cap if you've never played a Zelda game before. Now this, this is the part that um, is fun for me at least. And yeah, obviously we can't go there yet. Aha, we have, we have another way out though. It almost looked like you weren't going to get out there. But yeah, the barrel, rolling the barrel, or the barrel roll, which um, you might be familiar with from another franchise, which I have dabbled in before. Um, it's kind of a cool little... I don't really think it's a reference, but it is cool that it's in there. Oh, okay, I think I wasn't meant to come this far. I definitely wasn't meant to come this... Well, yeah, no, I can, because I just noticed the stairs up here. What did I get? The map. I get the map. And I've just noticed a heart piece on the side. I think this is one of the very few Zelda games, to my knowledge, that actually holds heart pieces within a dungeon. It's weird, but it's a thing. Also, there's a little marker on the ground. Oops, I messed that up. There's a little marker on the ground that um, kind of shows you where to stop. If you're gonna go to the halfway point. 
Right, we need... What we need now is something to hold the switch down. Right, okay, so... Uh, yeah, these, these guys are annoying as hell. I remember them, and I do not miss them at all. Uh, what do we need to hold the switch down, I wonder? Huh. And they say... And I... I try to tell everyone I'm a master at Zelda. Not true. Not true at all. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Finally we've done it. Um, what did we do? I don't know. We got into the next room. Yeah, okay. So... What I think we're going to have to do here is whatever, the, yeah, there's a chest that we're going to have to get here and of course it holds the key. Now we know where we have to stick that key though. So yeah, I, I'm still, look, the point in a dungeon for Zelda games is you need to explore. Exploration is a big, is a key point, pardon the fun. But, um, that's, that's what I've been doing, exploring, so, I wasn't doing anything wrong, it's been a while, it's been a while since I've played this one. It will come back to me eventually, but, I'll just roll with it for now. Where am I getting these puns from, seriously? I don't even mean it half the time. Right, okay, let's see, uh... I think if I remember right, if you step on them, oh, okay. I thought if you stepped on them, it would stop. It would stop you from walking backwards, so that. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess we only need to go a little bit. Like this. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. Um. How are we gonna hold the switch down though, or is it gonna stay down? Yes, it does. And we kind of need it to because of this. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Right. Yeah. We're going to have to look for hearts. I thought that the wee dust bunny things, that's what they're technically... That's what they are. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what they are. I'm going to call them dust bunnies. I thought that if you stood in one when you're pulling a mushroom back, it would stop you moving. And I think I've came the wrong way. I keep forgetting though, I have a sword. I have a sword. Rapid, you have a sword. That's what Zelda's about. We, we've been over this. We spoke about this in the last episode. Jeez, Rapid, are you sure you've ever played a Zelda game before? Right, um, what we're going to have to do, is, it's quite simple. You know, this is the first dungeon. I'm sure all puzzles are meant to be simple. Uh, Somehow, I feel like I might have messed it up still. I have. I've messed it up again. Hang on. Hang on. I haven't messed up. I'm just not thinking this through fast enough. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I've done this before. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot, in this game uh, there are a series of mini-bosses to kind of tackle, or in this case I think enemies, a series of enemies, um, and then of course you'll get your key. Another key, yep, we just keep getting one key, we're not exactly stacking them right now are we? I wanted to see if you could pull the tongue out of one of these, I'm sure that's a thing in Zelda, but obviously not this one. Ah, right, okay, we've just gone back round again. Uh, don't think there's another locked door this... Oh, wait, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've just... I've missed one of the obvious paths here. I swear I've played this before. It may not look like it, but I have. And there we go. We have a heart. Apparently they're hard to come by in this game. <laughs> right, 
we're gonna take this room to the left just now. Oh, there's another heart piece. Right, so yeah, we. Oh, that was a bit surprising. Uh, we can, in fact, get a full heart in this dungeon because we've already collected two of the four that we need. Plus, if we get the boss, um, then. Oh, I created a shortcut. Uh, that'll give us two hearts in total. I'm just going to go right round again. What's the point? Uh, I, I think we have to go down the stairs. That's probably the main thing here. Going down the stairs. Yeah, and I'm betting that will hold the main dungeon item because I don't think you get a compass in this version of Zelda. Not that you really need it. Oh, crap on a crutch. What did I do that for? It's alright. Link's a professional. He just smashes the pots. Right. So we don't need that right... N oh. Maybe we do. Hang on a minute. Yeah, maybe we should start with this. Okay, no, you do get a compass. Never mind. You do get a compass. They told me I played this before. They did. That's what they said. With all the evidence gathered, the I swear I have played this before story would not hold up in court. The evidence is against me here. Right, I think you can kill these dudes with jars. And we have a place to stick our key. We have a place to stick our key. Ah, wait, I think I know what's coming here. Yeah, the mini boss. The mini boss of the dungeon. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, be careful, Rapid. You need to hit it from both ends. Oh, he's a bit faster than I thought he was going to be. I think he gets faster, though. Yeah, just got to be careful, got to be careful. The spider web... Bouncing off the spider webs don't actually help here. Yeah. Oh! Ah, jeez, okay. He might nearly be dead though. That's that's uh, a plus. There he is. He's gone. And there, lo and behold, is our first dungeon item, the Gust Jar. A very handy item to have. And you'll soon see why. So yeah, let's just go ahead and equip that then. We can get rid of the shield for now. You don't have to take away all the webs, but I think you can kind of gather what ones we're going to be taking. I don't think you get anything. I don't think there's any like hidden items or anything for taking away a, a web off the wall. Um, oh! But, you know, that was worth it. We've just got the other one to go and get now. Trust me, I think we're going to need five for the boss. It's not the hardest boss, but, you know, having more hearts helps. The more the merrier, that's what they say. Oh, wait, did we go down here? I, no, wait, that's... Isn't that the room that we unlocked? Right, how do we get up there? That's what I want to know. You know, I can't actually remember how we get up there, but I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna have a reasonable explanation. Maybe we'll drop down. All right, I'm just gonna try and get by these guys without too much of a hassle. You know what? We'll just use the flipping gusture. That's what we got it for. Actually, yeah, we can clear the floor and see if there's something lying on the floor that might help us 
get up there towards the the heart. Oh wait, there is. There is another switch. Oh. Okay, yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. There is... Oh, ten, myster ten mysterious... I don't know, I can't speak. Ten mysterious shells, yeah. You kind of need those if you want to do, like, the minifigure minigame. I say minigame, I don't really know if it's a minigame as such. Um, basically, if you play The Wind Waker and you're familiar with the taking pictures of different people thing. Oh, we've got ten more, there we go. Yeah, you take pictures of different people or enemies around Wind Waker and you see a craftsman who turns those pictures into figurines and you can collect the old set. I didn't do that in my playthrough, I just found it to be a complete waste of time. It's fun... I'll come back for that in a sec. It is fun to do if you want the most out of the game. But, yeah, um, I wasn't really bothered that much about it, to be fair. Anyway, we're going to go right back to the start, because there's a reason... Oh, there's a reason we need uh, to go back to the start. And I'll just, I'll show you right now. Shouldn't be too far now. Yeah, there we go. See, we've opened up the blue portal from that other room. I'm sure you can kind of figure out what happens. I don't know why I did that. Didn't need to. Oh, wait. I've got these to do as well. I've got to remember. I, I might do that just now. Or, in fact, no. You know what? I'm going to go and grab the, the heart piece because that'll give us four. And then we'll come right back here and do those rooms. So there you go. We have four pieces of heart which then, in turn, creates a new heart container for us, so we have four. Lovely. Uh, oh, I was about to say, how the hell did I get out of here? Uh, oh, wait, no, this is the boss room, so if I go up the other side, it's gonna... Right, yeah, we don't want to come up here right now, we want to go and get the boss's key. Okay, uh, well there's one last area I think to explore, so why don't we go and do that small thing right now. I wonder if I can grab the mushroom from this side rather than go all the way around. I don't know if this is going to end in tears. Oh, there we go. It actually works. Okay. Doesn't work all the time. There you go. Uh, I think we want to roll this way. Yep. So what we want to do is we want to fall down here. And yeah, now what? Exactly. That's <laughs> that was exactly what I was gonna say. You would think though that they would kind of blow that towards us, because Oh well, I suppose you could always do that. Yeah, this is kind of a slow process, um, but thankfully there's not a lot of it in this dungeon. I do think that you have to do this a few times in other dungeons, but not so much here, which is, I'm kind of glad, to be honest, because it's not that fun. It might look fun, but it's not that, f wait a minute, wait a minute, actually, hold on. Oh, I just realised. I think if I go up this way, it'll bring us right back to the chest from earlier on. Move, 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 move. Yeah, slug invasion. Oh, no, okay. It's not where I thought we'd go. Yeah, you can get easily lost if you don't look at the map of the compass rapid. Rapid thinks he's that much of a professional. He's going by... <laughs> I'm going by the place I'm supposed to go. Oh, we'll get there eventually. You know. Maybe not on time, but we'll get there eventually. Right, so first of all, let's start with going up here then. 
And well, you can just piss off for a start. Uh, we're gonna have to... I guess... Yeah, we're gonna have to smash a few, because we're gonna have to push this one out on top of the switch. Like so. Yeah. It is a good game. I do enjoy this game. It, you know, I have a little niggle with this part here, but it's nothing compared to some of the other things in like the Wind Waker, for example. Uh, you know, every game kind of has annoying parts in it. Oh, I kind of thought that was going to work. Oh, hold on. I've just now realised what it is I have to do. Uh, yeah, focus rapid. Yeah, every Zelda game kind of has parts in it that when you go to them, you're like, oh no, not this bit. Or even if you've played it a few times, you're like, I know what's coming up next. And I'm not looking forward to it. But it needs to get done. Like, Ocarina of Time has the Water Temple. And... Oh, another switch. And more seashells. Seashells, seashells, on his she... On his, yeah, let's not bother with that. Um, try, try to remember where the other place was I have to go. Is it in here? Now, now I'm getting confused. Right. So, yeah, every Zelda game has that part in the in the story or in the game. Now we've just kind of soft blocked ourselves. Um, that when you get to it, you're like, oh no, no, this part. Mm, this game. I'm trying to think if this game has one of those parts. Not sure. I'm going round in circles now. We're in circles. Mm. Hold on, wait. I think I've just remembered another way we can go. Oh, no, we can't. Damn. Uh, right, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to. Uh, go back underground. Go back, go back downstairs, I think. On this annoying part. This is definitely this game's annoying part, I have to say. Or bits like this. It's not fun. Look look at that. You have to be very precise as well. It's probably fun the first time you do it, but not the other 300 times that you do it. Right, okay, so, wait, yeah. Now it's coming back to me. It was only seconds ago, Rapid. How could you forget? The locked door that we need to get to is up here. Don't be shy. Yeah, it's up here. Oh, no, no. I thought, I thought he was going to join us there. Yes, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I think we're going to have to work our way round. Oh yeah, we're going to have to work our way round to get to that chest. It's not as simple as it looks. Oh, damn it. Right, oh, come on. Right, yeah, we're probably going to have to go as far back as we possibly can. No. No, we're not. We're going to have to stand right here and hope that we don't go right over. Yeah, okay, this is how you do it. A five-year-old could do this. And, I, and I'm somehow struggling at the first dungeon in this game. It's not at all embarrassing. But there we go. We've got the big key. Not the boss's key, the big key it's called in this game. So yeah, we're going to finally... Go and get the boss. It's nice that they kind of put that right here. Because, you know, 
we are going to fight the boss now. And uh, it's very convenient for us, in a sense. Um, oh, no, why did I press that button again? Good thing we don't lose hearts. Yeah, and good thing we can't <laughs> put ourselves over there either. Um, kind of looking forward to this. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't need anything. Let's just go. Let's just go right for it. First boss of the game. You know, I kind of like what they do with bosses in this game. Because... Obviously you're small, all smaller threat, all the small threats, the small enemies that you encounter when you're large are nothing, but when you're small it's a whole different ball game. Oh, but luckily we have a way of dealing with it. Oh, assuming that we get to work our magic and not get disturbed. Yeah, quite an interesting way to uh, introduce a boss, I must say. Like, obviously I've, I've defeated a lot of these guys in Wind Waker and now here in this game. Oh! That was too slow on the uptake there. Um, yeah, now, now it poses more of a threat than ever before. And it's kind of cool. I like what they did with that in this game. Let's see if we can get a heart. Oh, that was close. Oh, okay. Alright, this might be the last time he goes down. I hope so anyway. Uh, yeah, sometime today. Oh, okay, you still got some fight left on you, that's... Oh, that's good then. Oh! Uh, yes, this has got to be the last time, I suppose, because he's getting... Yeah! Yeah, he's getting faster and more aggressive. Ow. Not what we wanted to have happen, but we won. We, we got the heart. Now we're about to get another heart. A proper heart, so we, we can have five. And there we go. Yeah, it is a purple one. Yeah, the earth, ele earth element. Thought for a second there, I didn't say it right. I probably didn't. Anyway, yeah, the earth element. So, um, yeah, one down, three to go. Before we do leave this place, so we're going to grab another heart. Yeehaw. So now we've got five. Um, yeah. It's all good. I don't know why I'm wasting my time getting more hearts. Let's just get out of here. Okay then, but before we do that, we're going to quickly save... Hold on, that's not the right one. Uh, <laughs> we're going to save... Oh, damn these controls. Yeah. We're going to save the game, because I'll be damned if I'm doing all that again. Although I could probably do it in a faster time. Uh, yeah, let's back out. B to back out. B to back out. It's not working. Screw it. Alright, so. Um, yeah, let's go get the Elder. Let's go talk to the Elder. I don't think it's you though, is it? That's debatable. Also, 
isn't Link a Hylian? I'm pretty sure he's a Hylian, not a human. But yeah, we'll let that slide for now. I think to diminish, we're all humans. Mount Cronel, okay. Ah, yep. That works for me. Could do with a more powerful blade. Oh, I know. I saw with my own eyes. Vati opened the chest. We all, we all did. Oh, thank you, Kane, sir. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, Ezlo apparently speaks on her behalf in this game. Ezlo, as you probably gathered, is like your companion, kind of like Navi and Ocarina. Um, what's this guy? What, what does this little guy want? Green clothes, a mystical hat. Sir, would you by chance be Rapid, the one who found the Earth element? Uh, no, I think you're thinking about someone else. Oh, wait. You, do you have something good for us then? Oh. Oh, nice. Got a bomb bag. Okay. I knew you. I knew you were going to be useful. I knew it the minute I walked in. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. What we're going to want to do is obviously go big again, because we're not going to be able to cross that water if we don't. Aha. And. Yeah, there's going to be a few of these around. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Are you sure you're not related to the... Is this not... I think the Wind Waker has a lot to kind of do with this. Like, your descendant is going to be the hero of winds. I'm, le I'm, I'm telling you, that is it. It is a strange symbol. It looks almost like a musical note, I want to say. I could be wrong about that. Um, but we'll come back to it at some point. I know exactly what it's for, but we'll, again, not bother with it. I guess we can't go in there for now. Um, not until we can swim, at least. Ah, yeah, this is why we would have needed those bombs. See, I like to plan ahead. I like to think outside the box and be like, oh, check your surroundings before you go out there. You might need something, Rapid. Right, so we're back to where we need to be. Uh, let's take... The analog does not help. Yeah, let's take this with us. And get rid of that. Ah, just made it and no more. Right, so let's check. There's a wee house here. I don't actually remember if... Um, we need to be here, but we'll ask him anyway. Oh, I don't know what, yeah. If you had joined us in the last episode, then I kind of briefly went over what a kinstone piece was. But, in case you missed it, you might get an explanation here. If I manage to get hold of one, that is. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and get the bombs out again. Um, I'm pretty sure we could have probably just gone up the other side. So we probably came down this side for nothing, but... Hey ho, we're here. Oh, a bombable wall. Would you look at that? Ah, 
and a mysterious chest inside. I wonder what you have for us. Probably rupees. I bet you it's rupees. No, it's shells. But this game, it's shells. I'd hate to see what this game is like in a randomizer. to that later as well and we'll just yeah we'll open up this road I think if you open this up it stays open there we go yeah and we seemingly seemingly we're back in South Hyrule Field Owl did not mean for that ha to happen and here we are at another one of these sacred stone things which just blew up instantly this time around Yeah, okay. Yeah, it rattles me too. It rattles me too. Right, so we'll just have a quick look around, see if there's anything that needs done here. There's a house. I don't think there's any point really going in there. Um, oh, right, we can't go there yet. Um, let's see. I doubt there's much we can do here. I think we need to head back to the castle town, to be honest, but it was worth having a look. And try not die in the process here, Rapid. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go inside and see. Oh. Yeah, for a minute there I was like, I can't move. Now I know why. So this is where the fun begins. The fun begins. I hope you know the sarcasm in my voice because, don't get me wrong, the kids' own puzzle things can be kind of cool to begin with, but when you start doing them over and over, and then when you have people, like you run out of people to, to match kinstones with, and you have to go searching all over kind of becomes a bit of a pain. Not gonna lie. Anyway, we've got a kinstone bag and apparently it comes with a few pieces because he wants us to join. So I guess this will give you guys a kind of look at what a kinstone piece thing can do. Yeah, everybody looks like you. <laughs> Everybody's gonna dress and look like you. You know, I'm now just noticing, I don't think he's human. Maybe he is. He just... kinda looks... like he's not. Maybe it's just the way he's drawn out, I don't know, maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at him. There we go, yeah, let's speak to him and get this done. Let's, let's get this out of the way. The first kinstone piece... Uh, oh, sorry, it's L. Okay, I pressed L. Are you happy? I've done it. There we go, I've only got one. Of course it's going to match. Oh, I wonder. Yeah. Something good will happen. I beg to differ. Oh, okay, something not bad actually did happen. Yeah, it's kind of cool that it lets you know on the map where you have to go. I think we'll just go there and find out what it was we just unlocked. Might as well. And maybe we'll round up the episode after we've done that. Hopefully it's a heart piece. It probably is a heart piece. It is a heart piece. Okay, yeah, here we go. We're going to start our second run for a new heart. <sighs> well, yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode, I think. Um, we got through a dungeon. We didn't do that much, really. I mean, I've wasted a lot of time in a dungeon, but... At least we got one. Uh, we now need to head, but we now need to head to Mount Cronel and uh, speak with some guy who might repair our sword. Blah blah blah. 
yeah, we'll do all that next episode, hopefully. And, yeah, maybe we'll get ready to go into the second dungeon. But, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Um, it's good to kind of come back and get reacquainted with this game. Um, let us know if you're enjoying Zelda Month. Let us know what you would like to see us do in the future. Uh, comment down below. Even if you just want to say hi. I want to thank you for joining me here today. And drop us a like if you did enjoy this. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It would mean so much to us here at Nostalgia Gaming Retro. Hit that little notification bell for all stuff Zelda this month. Um, <laughs> you know, to be updated on Zelda Month 2020. Check us out also over in Nostalgia Gaming Live. I'm doing a live playthrough every Wednesday of the original Legend of Zelda to celebrate the 35th anniversary. So I'll leave the link to that first video down in the uh, description below. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this one guys and girls. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next one. Thanks guys, girls, and stay cool.